If you want to bury a dinosaur so it can fossilize, you need one of two things, a lot of mud, like in a swamp so the body sinks, or a sandbar that develops suddenly in a storm and can bury an entire giant carcass in 5, 10, 15, 20, even 30 feet of sand. You need one or the other, lots of sand, lots of mud. We got both here. We got mud and sand. This cap rock, the hard stuff, that's sandbars. Many, 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 many sandbars all piled up. And the softer sediment underneath that we're going towards, those are made by the muds in floodplains and meadows and swampy ground. It's got a texture to it like a pond. Very, very dense. Well, you know, maybe therabytic carnivore. Maybe because, yeah. Uh, bone has the texture of dense, dense hardwood because bone grows by minerals being deposited in the living animal in uh, fiber strands. And as a result, weathered bone, bone that's a little eroded, will look like a uh, hardwood chair left out on the porch. That's just a tiny pet, some kind of dinosaur. Slowly with your head down. And you're not looking for a whole dinosaur, you're not even looking for a whole bone. What you're looking for is little broken bits of bone that have eroded out. Wind and rain is slowly eating away at this layer of rock. And bone is a little harder than the rock, so as the rock falls apart, you can get pieces of bone. And Wyatt was walking this way and spotted these chunks. These are big chunks, obviously dinosaur leg bone. The outer bone has a very dense but slightly fibrous grain, again, like really, really hard wood. And inside you can see bone cells. And why it's saw this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and you immediately look up. Where is the rest of the bone? And there's a trail of bone pieces leading up, 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 up. He scratched in a bit and found more bone in place, in situ, still lying in the rock as they lay 77 million years ago. This is not just one bone. It's a bone layer that goes from here a couple hundred yards that way. It's really a major find. This is from a biggish dinosaur leg bone, big enough to be maybe thigh. And you can see the more open cells in the interior of the bone. These broken pieces continue. Here's the main, this is big. 99% of the dinosaurs we get from this layer everywhere belong to the one species, right. Brachylophosaurus, Leonardo species.